Welcome back, everybody. It's SPX 2016. I'm Joe. I'm Rusty. And with us... I'm Melody. And... I'm Ulysses. Welcome, Welcome. Melody and Ulysses. Thanks Thanks for joining us. So, you guys do comics? That's correct. That's exciting. Yeah? Tell us about your comics. Um, Well, I started out with In the Hands of Boys. I got a Xeric, this guy right here. And, uh, And I do Trinidad. And I have four issues, and I'm turning it and into a webcomic and colorizing it. Nice. Yeah. That's an interesting twist to go from print to webcomic. Yeah, I guess that's, that's cool. kind of unique, maybe. Yeah. yeah it's, it's at least uncommon. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I like that. What was the inspiration yes. for doing so? Um, I'm not sure. I guess I wanted to get it out there. I wanted more people to see it, so I felt the internet is where to go. Makes sense. And so many comics I read myself are online. So yeah, I'm not familiar with the internet. I don't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't, I'm sure. What is it? So I just stay away. It's very fancy. Uh-huh. I get told I just double click everything, and I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Something will happen. <laughs> so uh, how long have you been making comics? Um, I started. I guess you would say in 2004, or five, kind of. Mm-hmm. So yeah, for a, a little while. Oh wow. Yeah. Is this your first time at SPX? No, uh, I tabled, you know, starting in, I think, 2009, oh, wow. and then did right. four consecutive years, and then wow. a little bit here and there. I was trying to put out an issue of Trinidad every time I did SBX, and I've been working on the fifth issue, and I wasn't able to put it out this time, but I That's have okay. Hope. We forgive you. Yes. Thank Sorry. you. Ulysses, what Hello. kind of comics do you make? What was that? What kind of comics do you make? Um, I write and draw comics, and I recently started publishing comics with Storm Smith uh, under the Buño imprint. Okay. And uh, I wrote Amazing Forest with Eric Eric Freitas, which is this book, book, which has a story with Melody Often in the first issue, Nice. which is now just recently being collected in the trade paperback. (laughs) Available in this handsome trade paperback. (laughs) And we debuted Light from Buño at SPX. Which is a nice. book from uh, Rob Cham from the Philippines. Oh wow! So uh, you you were a publisher of that that book? Yes. All right. Now uh, what I think is interesting is the size. It's a very unique shape. Mm-hmm. What what drove that? Um, well, Rob Cham designed it, so it's like you know one screen is one page, and it's you know each there's no panels in this book. It's just every single turn you ta- you change the turn the page, the story continues. I think it's a really easy read, and there's no dialogue or anything in it. Oh wow! I think yeah. it's really interesting, like what drives deviating from a normal type of comic shape. You know, is, is it is there an idea in the story? Is there just is something that you want to try to make? And I really think it's a unique, uh, smaller shape, square, and it fits the story in this case. Mm-hmm. So, how has your show been this year? Oh, excellent! Yeah, I got a really good spot this year. Okay. Nice. And uh, so selling really well. I sold out of all of my Trinidad issues. I didn't take enough because I oh, just, wow. I, I was You got to have faith. <laughs> I know, I know. So, but still, and then I had a great uh, table mate, Shannon Fitzgerald. She was uh, really awesome to table with. That's what I've heard. Nice. I've heard she's pretty cool. Yeah. I've heard she's How about yourself? How was your show? It was really good. I also had a really good spot. And we also, besides light, on our table, we also were selling Gut Ghost by Enzo Garza. That is a fantastic book. I love that book. Oh, yeah. Yes. Enzo's great. And Enzo's Hollow awesome. Mountain by uh, Austin James. Nice. Which is also a really beautiful book that recently uh, was kickstarted. Um, so we had those. And it was really a good time just hanging out with them. And Light sold really, really, really well. Yeah. Nice. You know, Amazing Forest is, is your work. Yes. Yeah, well, how would that do? Um, actually, Melody mostly sold it on yeah. her table. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I ended up, yeah. I yeah. have, like, this copy left. Oh, <laughs> wow. So, yeah. so, so congratulations. I know. And I was, it was unexpected because it's $25. Everything mm-hmm. else at my table is much less expensive. And yet, that's what's sold. Success all around. <laughs> yes. yes. So, it's cool. Ulysses, how long have you been coming to SPX? Um, this is the first time I've been selling here since, I think the first time I, I did have a table here was 2006. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's been quite a uh, a while since I, I usually come semi regularly, like maybe once every two years. Uh, it's one of my favorite shows on the East Coast. Now, um, 
Yeah. You said you've been making comics since 2009, is that correct? About that? Yeah, well, uh, doing SBX oh, right, in 2009. Right, yeah. But yeah, I, uh, this one I did as my senior thesis, and that was uh, 2005. Okay. Oh, wow. So, so I say 2004 because I feel like I was developing sure, sure, you during were working that time. Right yeah, exactly. Uh, Ulysses, how long have you been making comics? Um, I don't know, since sixth grade. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I always drew. I, I, I've drawn my whole life, and I made a comic called uh, Ninja of the Night in sixth grade, and then that was. Then the next year was Space Joe, so I have my bibliography. Thank you. I was, in my I'm head. excited to participate <laughs> in this book. It was yeah. a grand adventure. Yeah, <laughs> seventh, let's talk about seventh grade real fast. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, uh, as long as we're talking about when we started drawing and yeah. like that, I've been making comics a lot longer too. Yeah. But I think of it like in the profession. No, sure. Absolutely. You yeah, don't have absolutely. to compete with him. It's I just, am though. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. All right. Yeah, like, that's fine and all, but excuse me. <laughs> well, Actually, guess, um, the walls of my mother's womb had <laughs> drawing <laughs> yeah. on them. So you got them hieroglyphics yeah. going up in the womb. <laughs> of course. You know, you're, you're drawing what you know, so you say so like organs and yeah. walls of the placenta yeah. it's like this is what i'm drawing uh, i'm picturing like like an ultrasound and it's like are these stick figures in here? <laughs> what is wow this? this is an advanced embryo this is really doing nice. well I'm trying to make your son's gonna though. be an artist yeah absolutely yeah, absolutely like, sorry we can just see it right yeah. here yeah <laughs> so what i guess what drew you into comics like how did you, what, why, what made you start wanting to tell stories in that format well, whichever one wants to go first yeah uh, I just, I, that's a hard one. Um, I guess the first thing that comes into my mind is uh, animation, actually, like watching sure. cartoons. And, um, oh, also my mother spoke French to me as I was growing up. Oh. And um, so then in order to be able to read it, I, I read French comics. Um, and then Calvin and Hobbes. It's just, it was always there. And it then was, I loved yeah. drawing. And so it just is a natural progression of like, how do you tell stories and get people to really listen to you? As a shy person who wants to be heard, comics, you like forcing them, sort of. Yes, <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Hey, so. Ulysses, I know you were drawing comics in the womb. Yeah. But outside <laughs> of the womb, what was your biggest influence in um, looking to comics? Uh, mine was similar to where animation was. I, w I would sit home and watch a lot of TV and just I wanted to make these like cartoons come to life. But storytelling in general, uh, I think I get it from my dad who grew up in Cuba and was in prison there and everything. So hearing his stories growing up of like his whole life really made me think like I want to tell stories. He was like a really big like sit around the table telling stories type guy. So I, that's where I get it from. Nice. Not much better place to get it from. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the storytellers, the natural storytellers in your life, and they kind of make you want to, like, I, I want to be able to tell a story like that. Yeah, and yeah. you want to use to find, like, your own medium, and comics yeah. work out. Yeah. So what are you guys working on for the future? I'm definitely working on issue five of Trinidad, and um, I'm also hoping to work for other people. Really? Right? Okay. Yeah. A lot more other people. It's been working out well, apparently. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do another Amazing Forest with Melody actually nice so hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, I, I was actually thinking of changing the format right now because right now it's uh, eight page stories I was thinking of making it 20 page story so each issue is actually a, a new story oh nice oh wow yeah. alright there's like maybe 200 pages and like over like 24 different artists in Amazing Forest wow yeah. and so maybe you would refine it down like narrow well it's like the number now, you know if you get the book you know, published by like IDW, which is the publisher of that, it gives you a little bit more opportunities to tell a longer story. Whereas before, we were just telling it um, using, you know, on Comixology. So, you know, you want to do work that's like, you know, since we can't afford, we couldn't afford to like pay ourselves or pay artists, it's like, uh, you know, we kept it short to just eight pages. So, did IDW do this as singles first and then do yeah. a trade? Yeah. Um, it was, each issue would have four stories in it. And then they collect it into a trade. Nice. Excellent. Oh, guys, I have an important question for you. <gasps> Do you want to answer mystery questions? Yes. yes. All right. Let's bring the mystery machine and mystery Do questions it. in. Mystery. I'm going to run the book over. No okay. problem. <laughs> Rusty, you know Very better. Exciting, guys. You know yes. better, Rusty. <laughs> okay. Are we supposed so, to? Grab a quarter? Okay. Oh. Yes. 
Awesome. You wanna open it? No, you. That's no, yours. yeah, yeah. He has to get his own. Oh. Destiny draws the question to okay. you. Okay. Why can't I grab a quarter? Help me. There we go. There we go. Good job opening the capsule. Thank you. Yes. Why it's difficult Some folks have challenges, and I, I honestly think it's <laughs> I think it's capsule dependent, <laughs> but. All right, let's bring it back. You're a more responsible driver at that. Goodness gracious, all of road driving. Nice. Oh. Melody, what's your question? Mm. Oh, my question is, funerals are hard. Do you have any life hacks to make them more fun? Ah, yeah. any recommendations? Because, you know, funerals, wow. are, funerals are such a bummer, guys. Yeah, yes. they're such a guys, downer. It's like, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I lost a loved one forever. Yeah. But really, let's turn this frown upside down. How yes. can we make funerals more fun? Why might be bad about it? Well, okay, my Nana passed away not too long ago, and I... Way to make it real, Melody. Well, I source everything give real from my real life. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, when you're at a funeral, you cry, but then you inexplicably laugh hysterically, too. Like, that's, a, that's one of the reactions, a normal, like, universal one. Mm -hmm. And I just say, like, in those moments, maybe try to, like, extend that a little bit. And uh, it's cathartic. It is. Yeah. yeah. And other than that, I would say... At, for, at my own funeral, I would like people to do funny things, and sure. I want people to cry a whole lot. So I want to play. I want like a soundtrack for my funeral. Yeah, I like that. But so I find that that might be funny too. You want a funeral mixtape? Yeah. That takes them down really yes, sad. really far. And then brings them back up. Yes, yeah. exactly. Right, Set that <laughs> roller coaster. Journey. Yes. And then I want like a slideshow presentation. Sure, sure. <laughs> I like that. Are, I like you, that. are you going to build yeah. this ahead of time? Yes. Yeah, I also right. want a mystery that they have to solve. I thought you were Ooh. just going to say mist, like a mist tin or something. Okay, like no, yes. 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 I want some yeah. mist in there as well. Now you look. What's your question? My question is, what is the dumbest name for a pet you can think of? Yeah. Mm. And I'm a big proponent of giving pets regular names. Me yes, too. sir. Like they should just be called like, like Gary. Harold or Gary. Yes, yes. Um, I'm with this. And I had a snapping turtle as a kid, like when I was like in high school. And I had it for like seven years. It got like, like the size of my head. I had to get rid of it. And her name was Susan. Susan. Susan? That's a good turtle name. Susan what I like is it's also kind turtle. of alliterative. Susan the Snapping Turtle. Susan the Snapping Turtle. Yes. I kind of dig it. It's like a storybook character. never liked me at all. She just tried to eat me every single day of my life. Do you think it was because of the name? <laughs> she was mean. Like, <laughs> just they told all you, mean Sue. They told you that, like, oh, eventually turtles domesticate when you feed them a lot. They get... Never happened. No. Wow. Was like, she stayed wild. Stayed wild. You know what she needed? A turtle mixtape. Bring them down. Bring them <laughs> back up. Bring them down. You're right. Get that Calm loyalty down. out of them. Exactly. Calm them down. Now, guys, where can people find your work online? Um, you can find Trinidad on Tumblr, trinidad.tumblr.com. All right. And uh, Facebook and Instagram, all that for me. And I'm Melody Often. All right. Like well. the words. And I'm for me, um, I'm good with just Facebook. So Ulysses Farina's on Facebook. It's a way to do it. And Buño is buñobooks.com, but the email on there just goes to me. So back to Facebook. <laughs> Don't complain about him to Buño, guys. Yeah. Yeah. He's Buño. Yeah, it just goes right here. So I'm, I'm, Facebook is my number one way I talk to people. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you. Having. This is fun. Excellent. Awesome. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.